anterior cutaneous nerve entrapment syndrome. That's a really interesting type of peripheral nerve pathology and one that I, even though it has a name that's all over the literature, I don't think is well understood because the people that have been taking care of these patients really aren't experts in peripheral nerve surgery. Um, you know, they may develop names or, or be, be given um, characteristics that aren't really necessarily accurate. And I think this is one of those types of problems. The anterior cutaneous nerve is technically the branch, the very terminal branch of the intercostal nerve that pierces through the rectus muscle and then the anterior rectus sheath to innervate the skin along the midline of the abdomen. The typical thing is gonna be abdominal pain uh, and abdominal wall pain. It can present as uh, allodynia of the skin, meaning, you know, a little patch of skin is very painful or hyperesthetic to touch. It's a, a tragic condition in a lot of ways because um, young people, uh, I think, frequently develop this condition, whether trauma from sports or, or other um, mechanisms. Abdominal pain is always thought of as something inside the belly. So a lot of these patients will undergo months or even years of, you know, GI workups and and is it a gallbladder, is it this, is it that. If you're a woman, then a lot of it is looked at, especially and the pain is in the lower abdomen. It's like, is it, you know, female issues with the uterus, the fallopian tubes, whatever. Generally, what I do is the, the pain management physician that I work with closely will do tap blocks. And you're trying to, based on your physical exam, you're putting in a little field block and, and seeing if that captures all the nerves that are causing the pain. For people that have this kind of problem, the treatment is surgical. The tricky thing about acne is this, this anatomy is, is very complex. And the intercostal nerves communicate with each other, you know, the level above and the level below a specific nerve, there's going to be branching and, and cross communication as it comes from the spine and wraps around the torso to the midline. In order to be successful with this type of surgery, you're having to remove multiple nerves because just trying to isolate one nerve is, is very difficult to do. You have to find these nerves lateral to the rectus sheath and find them and disconnect them and then bury them in the transversus abdominis muscle, which is the deepest layer. Now the tricky thing about um, any peripheral nerve is you can have a problem exist along the course of the nerve anywhere from the spinal cord to the terminal end. If the problem was more posterior, then you could you may end up having to actually come around and do surgery in the back area to get to these nerves um, and, and solve the problem. But generally, it can, it's a surgery that can be done in the um, stomach area. If you have a, a good block and can find those nerves and disconnect them, then you know you're dealing with a greater than 90% success rate.